What's going on everybody, I'm Primal Liquid and welcome back to my 100% perfect playthrough for Final Fantasy X. We are on part number 14 and that means we're kind of going to blow up home. However, one little thing I should very quickly mention is absolutely everything in this place is missable. It's like, this is the one and only time you can come here. You can technically glitch your way back into here later. But that glitch is a major, major pain, and also it can have some very, very nasty consequences for uh, your save. So I don't recommend doing that. Oh, I, I forgot to change Tadis's weapon back. Whoopsie daisy. And of course, going off of the last video, my characters are super OP. I, I did it again. God damn it. Okay, everyone's super OP apart from Tidus. I, I need to change his weapon. I need to change his weapon, man. I dipped so hard there. What in heaven's name? They, they aren't thinking. They're just doing what Seymour says. Like, it's so obvious, man. It's so obvious. Oh, okay, let's change Tidus's weapon. Brother Sword. Oh, Brotherhood. And away we go. There's nothing in this first screen. This little next screen here, though, there is going to be something, and this is also uh, a little bit annoying, because it can technically be, like, it's really, really hard. Uh, basically, if you go forward too far, then you've already lost out. It's like, there's going to be a battle in a minute, and we need to just go down the stairs slightly, and then back up, basically. We go too far, we can't come back up the stairs, so we can't get in the room. Easy. Easy, bro. Super easy. And of course, because this is so easy, it's like every is going to be uh, really simple to do as well. I should probably stop mugging, though, for items. Okay, so straight off the bat, there is some uh, smoke down the stairs. We're not going to do that just yet. Instead, we're going to backtrack a little. Okay, no, I do need to go down. Rip. There is a, an item near the smoke here on the left, though. Which is Albo Potions. Now, we want to go up and into this green door, but it's not letting me. Okay, let's go down change the screen. There we go. Now we can go back. And there's the chest that's hidden in the smoke. So, we're going to go into the left-hand room. And there's going to be uh, a couple of trick chests in here. And yeah, I'm going to start mugging everybody now. Build up some items. That's the good thing, like, once you get mugging that, you can just start building up items super, super easily. The only downside is it's 10 MP, and obviously this early, my MP is ridiculously low. It's like, I can get 1 MP later, but... Eh, it's not really worthwhile, to be honest. Okay, in the room we go. Now... In this room, there is a battle, right there. There's two chests and an Albed Primer. Now, the problem is, these chests require a password, so to speak. Oh, he didn't die. How about that? There we go. And now he's dead, now he's dead. But yeah, these two chests basically require a password. One of them, basically, you just choose the item you want to get. However, you can also choose a battle. So, let's go ahead and just uh, open them up. Okay, so this one right here is the one that you get to choose. So, the first one is bomb. And that means if we choose that, we're going to get a bomb, basically. Like, we're going to like we're gonna be put into a battle with a bomb. The next one is an elixir. If we choose that, we get the elixir. This is the best choice of them all. Then it's a high potion, a mega potion, a soft, a chimera. So, we'd get put into a battle with a chimera. Then it's a potion, remedy, and evil eye. So, naturally, we want the best reward, which is the elixir. And there we go. Now, for the second chest, we have to enter the password in proper Albed. So, for this, it's basically sorry. So, we need to figure out which of these words is actually sorry. So, what we're going to do first is, for the first row, it is going to be the second option in the third row. So, it's going to be this one, I believe. Um, wait, let, let me think of this. It's been, a, it's been a while since I've had to open this chest. Uh, I 
think it's the food. I'm fairly sure it's the food row. No, it's going to be that one. Second in the food row there. Yeah, yeah. So, we have sorry. And then the next one is wait. Which is... Uh, I believe it's that one. The food option on the second row. Uh, yeah, it's going to be the second. Yeah, because it's the only one it can be. Because there's no W in any of the other words. And then it's Pardon. So, for Pardon, again, I mean, you can basically just go through or looking through the words and that. So, right now, it could be one of two. It can be that one, the first one, or it can be that one. So, now it's... Uh, oh, which one was it? Uh, I think it's that one. I'm fairly sure it's that one. I'm going to go with the second option in the second row. Yes, it was. Brilliant! So we got the friend sphere. And with that, we can also get the Albert Primer just on the bed. Okay, and now we can move on. So, there's nothing we can... Well, we can't actually go into this room here, so we've got to go down the stairs. Now, straight on is going to be a chest, which we're going to go get straight away. And then we're going to go over to the right, because there's going to be a another password chest, basically. But luckily enough, that one's, uh, that one's not too bad. It's pretty simple. Pretty simple. It's basically just a math problem, pretty much. So, needless to say, we're not going to have any problems with that. No problems at all. Let's get this chest down here first, though. Which are some Albert potions. Okay, let's go get this annoying chest. The annoying chest, man. The annoying chest. Some Chimeras, though. Ooh, Arctic Winds. Very, very nice. Don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I do. Chimeras are also the ones that give the best EXP in this area as well, by the way. It's like, the end of this battle is going to give me some decent EXP. Even after the uh, the grind I did. Nice little overkill as well. Shame that couldn't have come sooner. And bye, Mr. Guado. Bye. Was nice knowing you, bro. Yeah, see, so 7,000. Pretty good, pretty good. Ooh, a trickster. If I'm not mistaken, that actually has a good ability on. I'm fairly sure it does anyway. Oh, no, it's just magic 10%. That's no good. What did we get for Riku? We got the Onyx, Magic Defense 10%. Yeah, no good. No good, man. No good. Okay, there is another Albed Primer here, just next to the door, which is 21. And with that, let's uh, head on inside of the room, shall we? No, not that way. It is this way, Riku. It is this way. I know what I'm doing, woman. I know what I'm doing. It's like, I absolutely know what I'm doing. At least that's what I tell myself anyway. And of course we are going to get some nice EXP from this as well because it's another Chimera battle. I'm not going to worry about healing or anything because there's only a couple more battles coming up and only Tidus is really a little low and the chances of him dying are very, very slim. So we'll do this battle and then we have the chest, the last password. And this one is basically a uh, a maths puzzle, so to speak. So let's open it up, shall we? So the first stage is 4 plus 1, so that's 5. And then after that, it's going to be minus, so 7 minus 1 is 6. And then 3 times 1 is obviously going to be 3. And then uh, the fourth digit is 2 plus 1, which is 3 as well. So 5633 three is the password, and that gives you a special sphere. And other than that, we can uh, open this, which once again is a another password. Okay, now uh, this one is basically a case of who wants to be a gillionaire. So we need the third choice. And then we need the fourth then second, and then first. Yeah, what do you know? Skill sphere. Oh, okay, so we now have everything. 
Now, there is this little uh, Albert Sphere here as well, but obviously we don't need that. Like, we're not going to use it because then I can't put the Albert Primers in the video. So, we're just going to go ahead and go back out. And that's everything we can do now. So, now we can go all the way over to the left. And, of course, there is a Save Sphere there as well. And, of course, we are also going to get a level 4 Key Sphere. And this will be the first time we can actually get one of them. We can technically get more later once we get a bribe, but uh, for now this is the first one we can get. Okay, you know what, I'm going to use my sphere levels as well. Why not? Why not? There's really no point in saving them at this point. No point at all. I mean, realistically, I don't even have to use Kimaris. So like, I don't I don't have to use Kimaris at all, because I mean once I get Yuna back, I'm never gonna use Kimari again. Oh well though, it's fine. A little more speed, agility well, a little more speed, defense and health. Yeah, you know, it's always nice, it's always nice. I'm super close to haste together though. Like that I'm gonna get before ever, eh? Because that's gonna make the fight so much smoother. Okay, and Walker. A little bit more damage as well, because there's a strength sphere there. Oh, that's a strength four. So that's going to be a nice chunk. Walker's basically going to be on par with Titus now for damage. Now when I get there, I'm going to get rid of that level two, and I'll move my way down there as well, get rid of that level two. And then I'm going to go back up, and then again. I might just complete Walker's grid first, actually. Yeah, I'm going to complete Walker's grid, and then I'm going to go back into Oren's. Okay, let's go the final area pretty much and of course that door locks behind you So everything we've just done if you do not get before you go into this door boom you've missed it You can never get back into that section of the game Unless you glitch but then if you glitch like your, your save file is pretty much guaranteed to be corrupted I tell you what, this, this one scene always does my nut in, because it's the only scene in the game where the frame rate drops so badly, and it's not only just on the old PS2 version it does this, it's on all versions, even on like the PC, like right now I'm playing. Normally I would be on 60 FPS, like it's locked at 60 basically. This one scene is locked at 20 FPS, which is why it's slightly stuttery. Like, it would be a lot smoother if it was 24 FPS, but it's not. So that's why it's uh, it's a bit stuttery in there. I don't know why they did it for this one scene. I mean, like, normally they would lock it to like 24 or 30. Like, pretty much every other cutscene in the game. It's literally only that one cutscene that's locked. Which is kind of annoying. Ooh, lightning marbles, nice. I would prefer the Arctic Winds, though. They're a bit more of a pain to get compared to Lightning Marbles. And see, Walker's doing uh, 5k damage now. So, pretty strong. Titus would be doing more damage, but he is, unfortunately, using a Water Elemental weapon. So, that's why his damage is quite low. Oh, Mag is damage on the crit! Oh, Everay's not going to know what hits him. Yeah, as you guys can tell, I am seriously broken right now. Like, super, super broken. Okay. So, let's go then, shall we? This is where Titus finds out the truth. Where we keep the summoners. We keep them safe there. You kidnapped them. Yeah, she did. I know it's against the teachings and all that. I get why you did it, but Well, I sure don't get it, Waka. They might get hurt on their pilgrimage. So you kidnap them? I mean, if the summoners don't do their job, then who will beat Sin? Here we go. Here we go. But guardians are there for that. If guardians do their job well, summoners will be safe. No. Right? Everyone's just looking away like, oh, don't ask me, bro. Kimari goes. It's quiet. Kimari goes now. Kimari don't want to be the one to tell him. 
And everybody just ignores him running away. And at this point, Titus realizes, hmm, something's going on here. What aren't they telling me? What don't I know? Dun, dun. Gotta love the Zanakin theme. He realizes something fishy. Okay, down the stairs there's going to be two chests. One just here on the left, which has a uh, level sphere, level 4 key sphere. And the one on the right has a level 2 key sphere. And with that, home is 100 percent So, let's go, shall we? So we have another scene here. Hey, Saru, Donna, what's going on, guys? She's not here. I wonder if Uber has emailed me She's back yet. Here. Yeah, I tried to uh, <laughs> I tried to order a McDonald's from Uber Eats earlier. Like, you know, I mean, I, I'm very lazy. I rarely cook for myself. Um, but, yeah, I tried to order Uber for me and the rest of the family in there. And... I tried to log in, but for some reason my account has been disabled. No idea why. So I've ended up uh, sending a message over to Uber, and they replied pretty quickly originally, saying, "Okay, can you send them a picture of the error?" So I sent them that, and now that there's just radio silence, basically. No idea why though. Like it's not even giving me an error code or anything. It's just saying your account has been temporarily disabled. Visit the help section for more info. But of course, you go to the help section, and there's absolutely nothing on there about this error. It's super annoying. I want my Big Mac, bro. I want my Big Mac. It's like, I, I might... Uh, hmm. If they haven't emailed me, then... Well, if they haven't emailed me after I finish this video, then I'm probably just going to order on my phone. Because that's the weird thing. It's like, I can still log in fine on my phone. But whenever I try to log in on, uh, like, a browser, it just won't let me. I've tried my PC on Firefox and Chrome, and I've tried my laptop. Still not letting me. It's like, there's no problem with using my phone. I just prefer doing it on, like, PC and that, because then I can keep an eye on the tracker easier. The truth revealed. Everybody there knows, apart from Titus. Yes, Tyler. She was the only one who didn't know. Tell me why. Why were you hiding it? Why didn't I know? We weren't hiding it. We just didn't know how to say it. It was just too hard to say. It wasn't. <laughs> Titus is going crazy. He's going quay quay. Lulu. How could you? How could you? Isn't she like a sister to you? I thought you were family. Why don't you do something, Waka? Don't you think we tried to stop her? She follows. Her heart. You know, she knew what she was doing when she chose to become a summoner. But Waka, that's just totally wrong. Summoners shouldn't have to sacrifice themselves. Just so the rest of Spirit can be happy, right? Exactly, and that's why we're gonna permanently kill Sin. Yeah. Lousy Wendigo. What are you doing here? I already crossed you a while ago. Like, you really think you got anything to do with me? I could crush you easily. That is the dream of it's like, I don't know why these weak summoners need to summon to beat this Wendigo. Even if it means our lives. I could totally crush that Wendigo. You didn't need to summon, guys.
That's right. You you just go beat up Veilfer. You just go beat him up. It's like he wants to hug them titties. So at this point, is it safe to say Tidus is a woman beater? Just smile. Just smile. Oh, there's the hog from the monster. Man, the monster's trying to give a hog, but it can't. Its wings are too big. Hey, watch. At least it's only the laughing. Uh, sorry, at least it's only the whistling we see here. At least we don't have to re-go through the laughing scene, you know? There's always that benefit. You sound sad. You wanna scream? Yeah, maybe. Wanna scream? I don't really think that's gonna help this time. It might, it might, you never know. You never know. There we go. At least it's muted. At least it's muted. Man, you gotta love that scene. You gotta love it. I want my journey to be full of laughter. You want a lot of things, Juna. You want a lot of things. Okay, let, let's go get the airship. Let's go get my airship and have an awesome cutscene as well. Yeah, technically brother finds her. Like, te technically you don't find a Titus. Oh, okay. And obviously there is, unfortunately, nothing in this room. I don't think. I'm 99%... Oh, wait, damn that. There is something in this room. Okay, so there's 10 fails in guild there. I can't believe I forgot that chest. Hmm. Okay, now it's time for the airship. So let's go! And I know uh, I mentioned this in one of the earlier videos. Uh, I think it was part 2. Um, but basically, a lot of people don't actually know this. This airship is actually the one that you find at the very start of the game. Like when you're in the underwater ruins with Rico, this is that airship. I said, where is she? Bang! Answer Come me, on, man! You? Knock Titus on his ass. What do you do when you find her, eh? I, I, I didn't know anything about what a summoner is, is supposed to do. And I told her all those things without even knowing. I've got to tell her. I've got to tell her I'm sorry. Sorry. That's it. You're, you're gonna, gonna tell her you're, you're sorry. sorry. And then you just drag her to Zanakin and make her fight Sheen, huh? You're all the same. Let the summoner die so we can live in peace. No. Ah, words. Show me action. Okay, let's fight them, bro. Get those words. Cause if you do He's gonna bury you. I'm gonna make you regret it. 
Eh, don't worry. I'll be fine. Of course I'm gonna save Yuna. So you know where she is? Of course not. Of course not. not. That's why we're gonna look. Using this airship. Uh, airship? Away we go. Over, ready to go. This cutscene is awesome. I love this cutscene coming up. A flight 10,000 years overdue. I love this cutscene so much. It's so good. question though. Obviously they could get from the sea to their ship. You know, I mean, that would be pretty easily. How would they get it from the ship to the desert though? And then get down that massive giant hole. That's my only question here. How do they transport it? Bye home. It flies. Next, we use that. Bomb it! Bomb it! Nuke it! Nuke it to the hell and back! What's going on? Where? We're gonna blow up our home. How? The forbidden machina! With one of the forbidden machina! Some good old nukes. And pop goes the weasel. See, man, that, that is totally a nuke. They are totally nukes with an explosion like that. Return to sand. No need for tears. Hey, look. Don't get so down. Boom! <laughs> like happy festival fireworks, yeah? You can cram your happy festival, you... Big meanie. Now, Walker, you have to admit that was a pretty stupid thing to say. Pretty stupid thing indeed. Okay, let's talk to Riku's daddy. I'm looking into it. Don't worry, I'm using a sphere of cellophinder. She's out there. Look at her. A sphere of cellophinder? It's an ancient machina. I don't know how it works either, so don't ask me, okay? You don't know how it works, and how do you know what it is and how to use it? <laughs> I don't even rightly know how this rig flies, either. <laughs> Walk us scared. We're running around in the dark here. Ain't it a rush, kiddos? Okay. Now let's go explore the ship, shall we? And by the way, this is the first time you can actually start recruiting the Albed Psych players. 
because they are located straight down here in the hangar. So yeah, this is where you can recruit all of them, including Nimrook, a pretty much the best keeper in the entire game. We have a Saru. You can talk to all these guys as well. And we have Rain for a little shop. You were on the ship. I came to home to quite the escape. <sighs> yeah, quite the escape. Okay, what you got, buddy? Yeah, nothing good, nothing good. Still like the usual 5% and that, you know. Not really that worthwhile. Nice to meet you. But your pronunciations Indeed. I've been studying, bro. I've been studying. Okay. So now we can carry on going up and out. So obviously this is like the last section of the ship. We're not going to do anything here for now. We're just going to go back. Because we need to go back and talk to everybody. Bye, Ren. I'll be seeing you later, yeah? Once I got all 26 primers. Okay, talk to Kamari. Don't worry, Kamari. I know you won't, buddy. After rescuing Yuna, then what? You want to keep her safe, correct? Would you seek to stop her pilgrimage? Of course. Of course. If she continues this fool pilgrimage, she will die. No, she won't. Sir, you her yourself. No, she won't. The law or teaching to send my little niece to her death. When I save her, I'll make her give up being a summoner quicker than a desert melts ice. But a desert wouldn't melt ice if it was night time. It's like deserts are actually extremely cold at night. You are the captain. Good. It's not settled, bro. It's not settled. It's like we're gonna continue First, that journey. Let's show them what we, got. we got everything, bro. We got everything. Okay, brother, where's she at? So we just had a really good cutscene, and now it's time for the. Uh, yeah, not not a very good one. I really dislike this uh, series of scenes here. I hate the wedding, man. I hate the wedding. I really hate the wedding. Where was that? Baval, bro. Baval. Saint Baval, heart of Yevon. Gramps, let's move. Easy, kiddo. Baval's defenses are top notch. What's the matter, Gramps? Are you scared? You let's there, go. So we go and get her. Exactly. Let, let's just go raid Baval. And that's all. <laughs> I like the way you think, kiddo. Look. It'll take a while to get to Baval. Meanwhile. Prepare for battle. Exactly. Exactly, Titus. Exactly. Oh, okay. Now it's time for the ship to get attacked. Because some of the Guado managed to get aboard somehow. No, I'm not sure how. You know, there was only really one way into the hangar. But, uh, you know I mean? They, they still somehow got past me and got on the ship. I am calm about most things. Beans, there's nothing to do but... But destroy the ship and I'll go down to get her. Such a redneck approach, Riku. You gotta learn a little restraint, Pops. We'll take care of the fiends. The ship, we can't go rescue Uni. Leave the fiends to us professionals. Exactly. Yeah, let's go. We got this, bro. We hey. got this. Riku, you've made some very good friends, I think. Good luck. Okay, so let's get moving through the ship. First thing, so though, I do want to get uh, haste to go forward, Titus. I don't really need it, but I mean, it would still be nice to get. I think. I mean, let's uh, let me just see how much XP am I getting in these fights. If it's too much, then I will just leave it. Um. Probably wouldn't take me too long. How many levels do I need? Uh, I only need one more level, actually. Yeah, I'm gonna get haste to go first. 
I'm gonna get haste to go first. Hey, Sarah, what's going on, bro? What's going on? Okay, go back into this area, and I'm just gonna put times four on and random encounters very frequently, just to speed this little grind up a bit. Cause it shouldn't take too long now. You know, may maybe a couple of minutes. Although, you can actually start getting musks from these guys as well. You can technically get them earlier, but they're a rare steal earlier. And these are more of a unique item. Like, rather than having an actual use, these are mainly for Riku's mixies. But we still need to get 99 of them anyway for uh, for the little challenge that I set myself of getting 99 of all items. It's right though. It, musks really don't take too long. I mean, there's actually, well, most items actually don't take too long, especially once we get the uh, the monster arena. It's only of a very select few, which can be a pain to actually uh, farm up, you know? Okay. Is this going to level me up? No, but very, very close. Very, very close. And then we'll go fight Eferi. Come on, buddy, come on. Two random encounters off and times four speed off. And then we'll go off the boss battle. Okay, Titus. And there we go. We got haste to go. I mean, let's be honest. I'm completely overpowered as is. I really did not need to get that. But, you know. Why not? Why not? Like, there's nothing wrong with it, is there? I'm not going to bother leveling Kimari up. I'm just going to leave his levels as is. Because the stronger he gets, uh, the stronger Biren and Yankei gets later on. So I'm going to leave that. Okay, and also if you talk to these guys, you can actually get some uh, Albed potions as well. Only one of them gives them you, though. Every... The red carpet has teeth. The guardian worm, Every. The great sacred beast, protector of Baval. The red carpet has teeth. It's all right. We're still gonna crush it. We're still gonna crush it. It's like it's gonna be easy. It's gonna be easy. Exactly, man. Go. The ferryman asks a high price. Hey, the price isn't that high. It's not that high. You can also speak to Rin here again for another shot, but let, let, we're not going to do that. We really don't need to do that. So we're just going to go up instead. And actually have the boss battle. This is going to be so easy, man. So, so easy. I remember that on, like, well, way back when I was a kid and that, like, during my first few playthroughs of this game, this fight always gave me a lot of trouble. But at the same time, like, back then, I just, I never grind, I just rushed straight through the game. So, I was pretty much always getting here, like, unprepared and that. Now, though, yeah, we, we know exactly what's coming. That's gonna be easy. We're gonna crush it. Okay, let's crush him. Let's crush him. We're just gonna mug the entire fight pretty much, just so we can try to get some water gems as well. We're not gonna be moving in or pulling back either. Because there's really no need to like we, we can just stay in range pretty yeah, pretty comfortably. Alright, let's get some haste to go going. You can inflict slow on the uh, Everay as well, and then inflict uh, reflect on it. And that will also mean he can't actually cast haste on himself either. But, to be honest, I don't really care if he casts haste on himself, because it's really not going to make much difference anyway. So, I'm just going to I'm just gonna slaughter him. I mean, yeah, look at that, man. Look at that damage. It's going to be so easy. Okay, so for every to overkill, you basically need to deal 2,000 points of damage or more when you kill it. Now, the EXP itself is... It's okay, you know. For an overkill, you get uh, 8,000 or so. But what we really, really want is the Black Magic Spheres. And if you overkill, you get one or two. 
Come on, man. Come on. One more hit and he's dead. One more hit. Rest in peace, Mr. Reverie. Oh, wow. That actually only just gave me the overkill damage. Damn. Alright, come on. Give me the two. Give me the two. I don't know why I want them because I'm not going to use them, but give me the two anyway, yeah? We're losing power. It doesn't matter if we're losing power, it's going to be fine. And we got the two. Absolutely brilliant. We got the soft armlet as well, which just has stone ward. Not stone proof. You see, weapons from FRA can either have piercing and stone touch with a one, two, three slots. Uh, the armor, however, can have stone ward with one to two slots. So, not really very good to get any equipment from that. Alright, let's go break up a wedding, shall we? It's like, we've got to crush this wedding, man. We've got to crush this wedding. And, of course, that means we're also coming up to the worst temple ever. Baval's Cloister of Trials. I think it's probably a safe, uh, a safe thing to say that this is probably everybody's most hated cloister. It's like, it is definitely the most annoying. And right there, hotness. Total hotness. See guys, you can always make a country check look hot. Just a shame she uh, see more standing right next to her. Like he's ruining the picture, man. That right there is a good wallpaper as well. There we go. They know every dead. Kind of makes you laugh though, it's like we're already overpowered as all hell, but we still end up getting surrounded by a couple of guns and we decide to give up. It's like we literally destroy our way through their army pretty much, but we still end up surrendering in the end. Hey guys, your weapons ain't shit against me. Even damaging it in the slightest. You have to admit though, this looks pretty cool when they do that. It's kind of amazing they can all do that though, especially like Lulu. You wouldn't really think she'd be capable of sliding down that. I mean, Titus and Walker can sort of be explained because of their blitz ball. Uh, Riku eh, can sort of be explained as well. Orin and Kimura, you know, they're definitely the adventurous, the strong type, you know, definitely, uh, they definitely have pretty good balance. Lulu, on the other hand, is a mage, so physically she would always typically be weak. So it's kind of funny that she can actually do that as well. Because you would need good balance for that. Good balance. Okay, one thing I'm going to mention is all these guys actually have guns. Now, we only kill them one at a time, however, because they have guns, and this also works in Xanarkand as well against the Fallen ones, however, their guns actually count as a kill as well. So if you're using something like Slayer, which charges your overdrive up when you kill a monster, by killing one of these with guns, you will actually get two kills worth of EXP. So just a, a more you know thing right there, a more you know thing. Oh yeah, they also draw. Uh, you can also steal purifying salt from them, which I think you need 30 of them. But you can actually use that to customize an armor with no encounter. So it's like if you aren't playing on PC or you are playing on PC, but you really don't want to use the boosters, that's typically how you get no encounters. You can either like just farm them here, which would take forever to get the amount necessary, or you can just wait until Zanakin and just keep stealing them off the uh, the soldiers there as well. Okay, let's go. We still have a couple more fights to do, but we're still gonna crush them. Oh yeah, uh, I was just about to say I probably should use a uh, Kimari to get Frost Kick there. 
Because mm. I'm not going to have Kimori on the bridge. Well, there still should be one more battle coming up that I can lay in it. Should still be at least one more. Not this one. Probably the next one. Probably the next one. So like, I'm fairly sure I can lay in it at a... Uh, Another point anyway. I'm fairly sure there's at least one more mob that I can learn it from. More I'm still gonna I'm still gonna go out of my way to learn it here. Just in case, you know. Hmm. Whoops. Uh I think I best actually loop up if you can learn Frost Kick from all the monsters. Uh, FF10, Frost Kick. Uh, let's see, what monsters can I learn that from? Uh, ah, I can learn it from uh, Biron as well. That's fine then, that's fine. I can learn it just fine. Mm, in fact, I think you can also battle them in Xanarkand? Yeah, I can learn it in Xanarkand as well. So yeah, we're, we're fine, we're fine. We'll learn that later then. I, I completely forgot about it, to be fair, until that last battle, you know. You will oh well. We'll just learn it in Xanarkand. No, the big deal. Is admirable. All the more fitting be my lovely wife. Come on, Yuna, send him. Send him. Send him so we never have to see him again. Stop. Cause you know you'd be sent as well, buddy. Do you not value your friends lives? Of course I do. She loves them, especially Tidus. She loves Tidus with all her heart. Your actions determine their fate. Protect them. Or throw them away. Choice is yours. Also, just in case you didn't know, this little cutscene there where she drops the weapon, the weapon actually changes depending on what weapon Yuna has equipped. So it's like, it's not always in that, uh, like, shape or design. So, for example, if she's using uh, a staff that has, like, a, a round ball on the end, she will actually drop that staff there as well. Which I think is a really nice touch, especially considering this was a PS2 game. So it's nice that they went out of their way to change the cutscene depending on the weapon she had equipped. Everyone looks away. Don't do it. Kill him, Yuna. Kill him. So, since that was against Yuna's will, is that technically rape? It's like, we all know she's really not in the mood for it. You ain't got nothing on me, buddy. You can't kill me. You can't kill me at all. It's not for Yavin. Forbidden by Yavin. There are exceptions. You can shoot him all you want. We all know it's not going to do anything to Aaron. Throw down your weapons. Let them go, or else. It's okay, guys. She has wings on her back. Look, you can see it. It's on the dress. She has wings. She's fine. It's totally fine. Don't worry, I can please, fly. Please. You're coming with us. Don't worry, go. This is foolish. If you fall, you'll die. But she doesn't fall, she jumps. <laughs> Worry. 
I can fly. She's gone crazy. Believe. She's lost her marbles. And Tidus just got anti hard. She's fine, guys. She's fine. You know, that actually really should have hurt Yuna. Like, she's falling at a pretty good speed, and then she comes to basically an immediate stop. Even if Veilford does everything to sort of lower the impact, that still should have seriously hurt her. If not straight out killed her. It's like, we know she fell quite a high distance there. I mean, it's basically the same, like, even if you fall into water and that. Like, if you fall high enough, like, the water can still really mess you up as soon as you've touched the surface of it. Just because of the impact force. And we now have the worst temple ever. The Chamber of the Faith. Ooh, this is not gonna be fun. Not gonna be fun at all. I'm really not a fan of this temple. A trap? No, it's not a trap. Who cares? Yuna's waiting for us. Exactly. Let's go. It's a machina. What's a machina doing in the temple? I suppose it comes in handy. Exactly. That's not what I need. The teachings. What about the teachings? Come on, Walker. You should know by now. They don't care about the teachings. Oh, okay. We could technically just take the uh, like the little stairwell all the way down. We're not going to though. I'm just gonna I'm gonna walk all the way down. Like you've got to have, uh, you've got to get your cardio in, you know? It's like, get some exercise. Nice little uh, rocky moment with all these steps here. Another machina? That's right, another machina. you got a problem, Walker? you got a problem? They treated us like dirt. They did indeed treat you like dirt. What are you going to do about it, though? Huh? 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 Oh, okay. And now in this room here, we do have a Nova Albed Primer. This one is not missable though. You can actually come back here like way at the end of the game. So you don't need to worry about that, but still grab it while you're here. Still grab it while you're here. And now it's time for the worst temple ever. But guys, I'm afraid to say that is going to be in the next video because I'm ending this one right here. Still though, I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, then please be sure to hit that like button and leave a comment down below. And of course, if you're new to the channel, then make sure you hit that subscribe button as well. As always though, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.